Hello everyone, welcome to Force Galaxy. So in this video, we will be discussing about the limitations of validation rule. So I have received this topic in the comment section to share about the limitations of validation rule. So by the way, as we all know, validation rule in itself is a very powerful tool. But, but yes, still there are some of the limitations which we will going to discuss in this video. So I have created some of the point. Let me share with you. So let's see the limitation what we are having currently in this validation rule. So first one is the complexity. Okay. So first one is the complexity. While validation rules can handle many scenarios, but when it comes to the complex scenarios or the high level scenarios or when we want to work on the related records also or on the cross objects then in such cases we cannot use the validation rules we need to go with the other automation tools like flows and the triggers so in yes in the complex scenario still we are unable to use the validation rules for the highly complex scenarios next comes is the performance impact Overuse and inefficient use of validation rules can result in the performance issues when we when in the future the number of records will increase so might be it might be possible that the more number of validation rules on more number of records can result in the performance issues. Okay, so this is the one of the point. Next is the cross object validation rules. Validation rules generally apply to a single object. If you need to enforce cross object validation, you may need to use the triggers or the other automation tools like account and contact. They are the uh, related with the lookup. But if suppose I, I have written my validation rule on the account, so it will going to show, show me the error on the account only. It, can, it is not possible to show the error on the contact object while using the changes on the account using this validation rule so in such cases again we require the triggers and the flows to re, uh, achieve the requirement now next comes is the governor limits for all so in salesforce there is a number limit which we say that is the governor limit is there for each and everything either it is object creation field creation validation rule flaws or anything so there is a limit again for the validation rule also there is a limit which under which we can create validation rules per object okay so salesforce has governor limits in a place to ensure the efficient use of the resources okay so if unlimited validation rule uh, salesforce uh, give us the like suppose if salesforce give us the permission to create unlimited number of validation rule again in future it will going to result in the performance issues and unwanted results also okay so for this salesforce has already provided us the limited numbers of validation rules which we can create on a per object next comes is the limited actions validation rules can only prevent the saving of records and updating of records okay they cannot perform additional actions like uh, sending emails or updating related records yes using the validation rules we can only avoid a user from inserting or updating the record if the conditions are not satisfied but when the scenarios comes to send the emails or to update or avoid the insertion of related record then in such cases we cannot go with the validations rules we need to go with the automation tools now the next comes is the formula complexity formula used in the validation rules have limitation on complexity complex formulas may be challenging to implement within these constraints okay yes if you are using any formulas or something in your uh, this validation rules again there is a limit more complex scenarios or the formulas cannot be used in the uh, this validation rules so these are the few points which can be considered under the limitations of the validations rules and if you know more number of validation rule limitation you can share same on the comment sections and whatever the questions I have received in the comments, yes, again, I will be going to create another video covering all your questions in the same video like I used to do earlier. Okay, okay, so these are the some of the limitations which I have discussed with you. And if you have more number of limitations you are aware about, you can share same on the comment sections. 
and salesforce used to update itself day by day okay so try to be keep updated yourself will all the releases because in the releases we need to we get to know about the improvement and the new updates related to the all the tools and formulas and also might be possible in future validation rules can cover all these limitations also okay so try to keep yourself updated also with the all the releases so yes i know you have shared many questions in the comment sections also of all the videos the questions which i can able to revert on the comments i have already reverted to them but the questions which are not explainable in the comments i will going to cover them in the video itself like earlier i used to do so all of you also get to know about the answers of all such questions and about the shorts also which i used to share day by day uh i only used to ask the questions with you but did not share the answers so i will be covering one video every week which will be shared either on sunday or monday which will going to cover all the shorts answers which i have asked you in the previous week or in the current week okay so that's all for the today and if you have any questions or any query do let me know in the comment section thank you